What's going on guys, Frank Chris from MattSegMuscle.com and in today's video we're going to discuss and talk about traps. Now I'm going to give you three different variations of the standard shrug that you need to be doing to build bigger and stronger traps. But before we get into these exercises and explain the execution of the movements, let's first talk about the importance of why we want to train our traps. Now we also know that traps serve a role or they're a very big part of building an aesthetic physique. They really bring out the upper back and really help create the illusion of having that V-tapered look. But they also serve a very important function. One of the main functions of the trap is scapular stabilization. And as we know, because we discussed this in all of our previous videos, is the importance of having a stable and secure scapula in all of our upper body movements. So we wanna make sure that those traps are really strong, really well developed. So they're gonna get worked through a lot of our pulling movements, deadlifts, rack pulls, those are all gonna work the traps through a secondary function. But we wanna make sure that we're doing some type of isolated training to really build out and train all areas of the shrugs. Now the first thing I want to recommend that you never do is don't ever do a standard barbell shrug. Now the reason why is in order to hold the barbell in front of us, we have to have some form of internal rotation with our shoulders because we have to get the bar here. Now, most people don't have the internal rotation ability to hold a bar and not roll their shoulders forward. So that's the first thing I want to make sure you're never doing is don't ever do a standard barbell shrug because you're getting this internal rotation and basically you're having to round out your shoulders and you're overextending your trap muscle to get that. So if you're gonna be doing any type of shrug movement, make sure you're doing it with a dumbbell trap bar or some type of shrug machine to where your hands are at, at your side. And as you can see here in this movement that I'm doing, is my hands are up by my side and as I'm shrugging up, my, my hands are gonna to wanna to come out slightly. So that's why we wanna be using dumbbells when we're doing our, our standard shrugs because we get that free range of motion. Our hands can go where they naturally wanna go through the shrug motion. So we're thinking about bringing our, our shoulders to our ears and really shrugging and shortening those traps. So stay away from doing barbells. If you're only gonna be doing some type of shrug, make sure to do dumbbells or trap bars or some type of shrug machine. Now, as far as variations, I have three different variations that I wanna give you in this video today. The first one is gonna be a chest supported shrug. So here we have a high, high incline. We're thinking about driving our chest into the pad. Now, what this is enabling us to do is really get the trap, the upper trap involved. So the weight is out in front of us. We're really thinking about bringing our shoulder blades back together behind us. This is really shortening and bringing those traps closer together, really getting that peak peak contraction, putting a lot of tension and load through the upper traps. So this would be your first variation. Like I said, it's a high, high incline, really thinking about bringing the weight behind us, almost as if we're squeezing behind our ears or squeezing our shoulder blades together behind us. Now the second variation is a front cable shrug. Now, why this is different from doing a barbell shrug with our hands in front of us is the line of force is directly in front of us. So as you can see, this cable is pulling, is pulling from, from the front of us. So this is enables us to really, once again, think about squeezing the traps behind us. So most people think of the traps as just this piece of meat here that's at the top, but it actually extends down and attaches to our spine. So there's, there's a majority of the trap that doesn't sit above our shoulders, it's actually the upper part of our, our back musculature. So that's why enabling us to train it with a weight in front of us really enables us to get that trap function, really squeeze those mid-lower traps together. Now the third variation is gonna be a side cable shrug. Now, this is a great option to just kind of work it in a shortened range, but the fibers run in a horizontal direction. So by having the weight coming from the side of us, we're really working with the natural muscle fiber. So it's really, really once again, getting those muscles shortened, getting them contracted. I would say probably do two of them. You always want to get that side one in there, but pick either the, the chest supported or the front cable shrug and work maybe three to four sets of each one. And this would be something that you'd want to do at the end of a back workout. Um, you could do it on an accessory day or something where you're really just thinking about getting some, some additional work through the stress. Obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, they're still going to get work through deadlifts. They're still going to get work through rack pulls, uh, farmer's carries, any type of you know upper back work that you're doing. But if you really are struggling or really want to like I said, bring those traps up because you want to make sure that they are strong, secure muscle to really help with all that scapular stabilization. So give these ones a run, guys. I really hope you found value in this video. If you did, make sure to give it a video a thumbs up. I mean, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as we are releasing new videos every single week. And I have a free gift I want to give you today. We have one free week of our Mastetic Muscle program that we're giving away. All you got to do is hit the link in the description box, www.mastheticmuscle.com slash free week. Any email address, we're going to send the workouts over to you guys right away. 
once again, guys, really thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.